But neighbor, don't you remember? I know you. I walked with you once upon a tree. <laughs> can't marry him. And why not? Because... because he's just marrying you so he can be king. Outrageous! Fiona, my love, we're but a kiss away from our happily ever after. Now kiss me! Yes, bug. Oh my gosh. You can continue drawing. Okay, use some new crayons in a second. I just have to deal with this worker. What do you mean it's broken? That's not a... Hey, don't burn yourself. Don't talk like that in front of my kid. Look what you've done. Look what you've done. Now, I'm going to have to explain all that to them. Real... Okay, kid, don't say that... yet, okay? Unless you're with me. Because other ways people will think I'm a horrible parent. And I'd, I'd much rather not have that happen. That's That's a bad word. That you you don't don't use now. Ooh, oh, you are s employee. You are so fire. But when an emotionless white young doll like you starts being sympathetic, I'm doomed. I'm not a doll. You are. You do anything you're ordered to, don't you? You kill yourself if your commander told you to, wouldn't you? Of course. <laughs> and you are. Such a great day outside. Ah. A nice day to spend time with someone. Hmm. I should probably go looking for a neighbor. I want to spend my day with them. I just need to know where they are. Um. Oh. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. I just... No, they didn't just fucking kiss them. Um, excuse me, yeah, uh, neighbor? Come on. No, you're coming with me, come on now. You're not? Oh, well, you know, well, you know what, you know what? Yeah, yeah, I kissed them. They're mine. Leave, they're mine. You can't kiss them. They're mine. They don't want you. They are mine, and we are together. Alright? Why don't you go kiss somebody somebody else? Alright? Shoo! Bye! Oh. But, why are you looking at me like that? Oh, it's because I said we're together? Well, I only said that so they could leave. Oh. Well, maybe I meant it, but still. I should be the only one who can kiss you. Nobody else. Besides, he didn't even look that good. Be the ugly as fuck. Yeah. Also, why are you letting random people kiss you? That's just weird. From now on, only I will be able to kiss you there. Nobody else. Not even family members. Anyways, let's get going. I want to go out and do some fun stuff. Alright? Alright. Neighbor. Shall we? Remember, until you hear me again, keep your smile merry and always
always know that I love you very much. Neighbor, where are they? They should have been here two minutes ago. Screw it, I'm finding them. Wait, I hear screaming. That's neighbor screaming. Hang on. Oh my god, oh my god. Shut down the machine, now. You fucking heard me. Shut down the damn machine and get them out. Oh my god. You, get a medic. You, get them out. Oh my god. Oh my god, neighbor? Neighbor. Hey, 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 look at me. Look at me. Hey. Oh my god, you are losing so much blood. And that's a lot of skin taken off. Oh, I'm gonna be sick. Uh, swallow it down. Swallow it down. Okay, it's the medic all the way. Okay, I need you to keep your eyes open. Okay, key. Keep your eyes open. Keep your eyes open. Neighbor? Okay. Is there everything gonna be okay? No, don't you dare close those eyes. Neighbor! Hello, doctor. Um, are they all right? I see. They're going to be in, in the ICU unit for a while. All right. May I visit them? Thank you. Hey. Um, are you all right? That was a dumb question to ask. You must be in a lot of pain. Do you want to tell me what happened? Someone pushed you over the guardrails? Was it Petra? I swear to God, if it was Petra, I'm going to throw her in the grinder next. Don't worry about it, sweetie. Just try and relax, and I will take care of the factory, and I will have somebody do your job for you. Okay? Yes, I know. I love you, my loving partner. What? Hey, assistant, can you come to my office? Now. I don't care if you're doing something right now. Just come to my office, okay? Okay. There you are. Sit down. Don't ask why. Just sit down. Thank you. Now, remember the other day of what you did of the Hontek is a tech thing? So, I thought that maybe we can turn the table... Nuh-uh. -uh. Sit back down, my dear. You have no real way to escape. Because you know that at this moment you are powerless. Isn't that true? Now look at me. Nuh-uh. -uh. Have your eyes focused on me. Oh, isn't that cute? Your face is already starting to go red. That's adorable. I have even done nothing but just grab you from your chin. <laughs> and now you figured out why I have the red lipstick on. I'm surprised you didn't question, though, my dear. <laughs> Oh, you didn't want to be rude? Well, you could have just asked politely. Isn't that cute, though? Your face is just completely red. Now, go to the restroom, wash off a bit, and don't tell anyone about this, okay, my love? <laughs> okay. Now, go, go. Yes, neighbor, what is it? What do you mean, I have a visitor? I don't have any appointments scheduled today. Wallace, darling? Oh, dear God, that's my father. Why the fuck? <sighs> is he at least alone? He is? Well, that's at least somewhat good news, then. If he'd brought my manipulative, narcissistic-ass uncle with him, then we'd really have a problem. 
No. No. Sending him away really isn't the best idea. He only asks nicely once. Fine. Send him in. <sighs> Fucking hell. Afternoon, son. Hey, Dad. What brings you here? What? Do I need to book an appointment just to see my own kid? I mean, it'd be appreciated. You could have at least given me a call ahead of time and let me know you were coming. You think I haven't tried? You never pick up the phone when I call. Well, I'm kind of busy these days. Kind of running a factory here. Come on, Walden. How long has it been since you visited your old man? Well, I know it's been a minute. After what happened last time, I think we both needed some time away to... decompress. I said I was sorry, didn't I? Only because you were afraid for your life. Well, no shit, son. That kind of tends to happen when you get stabbed and almost get your eye gouged out. You always let your emotions get the better of you. Oh, gee, I wonder who I got that from. I... <sighs> so, how have you been? Like I said, kind of busy over here. So, I see... Well, then, look at me. What are you... Hmm? You're not taking proper care of yourself. <laughs> Dad, I think you need to book an appointment with your eye doctor and have your prescription adjusted. I'm perfectly fine and healthy. Are you really? Then what are these dark circles under your eyes? Dad... And how many cups of coffee have you had today? Dad. Don't dad me. I don't care how many hours you spend at the gym every day. You need to be taking better care of yourself and rest once in a while. Dad, I'm fine. So I pulled a couple of late nights this week to get caught up on some work. I'm the manager here. It comes with the territory. So stop with the lecture. Hmm. If you say so. So, who was the person that escorted me up here? That would be Neighbor, my assistant. Ah. You're not going to try marrying this one too, are you? Dad. What? I'm just saying they seem like your type. Oh, my God. Get out. Get out? But I just got here. No, I don't care. Go take your nonsense to Barnaby or something. I've got work to do. Thank you for escorting my father to my office, neighbor. How did it go? <sighs> Better than it usually does. Since Julia and I got divorced, there's not a lot left to my life for him to pick apart. He didn't say anything to you, did he? No. You didn't try to pick a fight? All right. No, no, it's fine. I know how to handle my father. It all just depends on what kind of mood he's in when he waltzes in. He had to learn the hard way that I won't hear anything he has to say about my mom or Ophelia. I'm sure you noticed the scars. Yeah, that was me. I did that. Anyways, in the future, if he decides to turn up here unannounced, you have my full permission to turn him away at the door. I distanced myself from that asshole for a reason. Doll, I've finished reading your documents, and I wanted to talk to you about some things I noticed, and... 
Um. Did did I come in a bad time? Why do you have so many plushies and blankets? Why the hell not? Okay, I guess we can put that into play. Um. Uh, so, why again? Right, why the hell not? Um, listen, don't, we can't have this many plushies and blankets in your office. It's a fire hazard. You don't care. Of course you don't. Um, well, I mean, my break does start in a few minutes, so... Fuck it, why not start it early? Here, move, scoot over. I'm surprised you're not sweating to death in this. Oh, fucking shut the hell up. It is comfortable, though. Do all of these plushies have names? They do. Well, maybe once we're both done with the work, you can tell me. <laughs> You're adorable, doll. Pretty boy, excuse you? <laughs> fine, fine. If I get to call you adorable, you get to call me pretty boy. But I assure you, you're still my doll. No. I don't care going and if I go into a bit of overtime with my break. <laughs> you are the plushies. That question will forever be unanswered. How dare you? How dare you stand in my way? Picked up. Whoa, whoa, ladies, stop fighting. What the fuck is going on here? Short as here wants to start a fight because he thinks neighbor. It's his and only his. That's because they are. I think we can all agree on that. They're mine. You are literally rude to them 24-7. Yeah, I'm with Dumbo here. You little shit. Let's all agree on that they're literally mine. No, they're not, you walking tomato. Well, they're definitely not yours. Well, they're not yours either. Come on, beat your ass. Oh, shut up, walking blueberry. You're not any better. Fine. Two on one. <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy beating your ass. Oh, this is just going to be too easy. Oh. Hello, neighbor. <laughs> is everything okay? Is it the boys fighting again? Honestly, we should set that and eat some popcorn. <laughs> oh my god, does the head damn whatever who works here? I don't really give a shit to remember, but does he only know how to hire incompetent people who can't seem to do their job right? Because I swear, your job is to write the scripts and get them to me. You are a whole day late and I don't even, I didn't have time to go over my damn script. So now I have to try and go over it for like at least like 30 minutes before the shoot actually decides to start. I swear if it wasn't, if you didn't actually make okay scripts when you actually do your fucking job, I would have had you dragged out by security. What is going on over there? Did they just... 
pull Wyan's hair. Hell no, I'm not. Excuse me, but what do you think you're doing? Nah, -uh, don't go silent on me now. What do you think you were doing to my assistant? My friend at that. Oh, you didn't know they were my friend. You thought they were just an assistant? Of course they're my friend. Now tell me, what the fuck do you think you were doing to them? You messed up their hair and now they have to get it done again. No, no, no. There is no excuse for this. Did you just step in front of me and push me? Oh, you are... But you know what? Security. No, you're getting dragged out of here. I'm not having you work in my fucking studio. Out of everyone that could have worked here, it had to be you. What's your position anyways? You're, by, you're a makeup artist. Well, good luck, because you're not going to be doing any kind of makeup here. And I'll make sure your whole life is ruined for this since you decided to put your hands on my assistant and put your hands on me too, which made this a whole lot worse. Oh, hey, security over here. Drag him out of here and make sure he does not come back. Yeah, scream and yell all you want, motherfucker. Wyan, are you okay? Uh, your hair's messed up. You're gonna have to get that fixed. Why did I help you? Did you not hear what I said to him? You're my friend. Well, at least I consider you one. And don't take that for granted either. I just think it's unfair how us puppets aren't really treated the same as regular people because we are not, we don't have the same things as them, whatever humans have. I don't really care. I don't really see a difference between us anyway other than the fact that we can live with our arms tore off and we can just sew them back on. That kind of just makes us better. I just think humans don't like when something they see probably something that might be above or better than them. That's probably what happened with you. He probably thought you were above him. And his thoughts were right. Whoa, 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 whoa. You want a hug? Oh my god. One hug and then we gotta go back and we're going to fix your hair and outfit since he decided to pour coffee on you also. Does that hurt? How hot was the coffee? Let's just get you cleaned up so we can get back to the work. And don't worry, we won't be seeing him ever again. Come on, let me help you up. Okay. Now, come on, we should get ready to go so we can get back to our normal shifts. Oh, my darling neighbor. Look into my eyes. Your eyes shine like the prettiest of jewels. Wait, did you just hear a camera shuttle? Wait, Sam, what the hell do you think you're doing? No, you get back here. No, no, you get back over here. I swear to God, I'm going to throw you in the grinder for this. Don't just stand there, neighbor. Help me out. Gotcha. Okay. Now, give me your phone. I'm deleting these. Yes, I'm deleting them. Neighbor, can I throw them in the grinder? What do you mean, no? I want to throw them in the grinder, please. Fine, fine. You're lucky this time. Next time, I'm going to go against my partner's wishes. Get back to work now. Just